Good Hi evening. Everyone. Hi. Sorry, a few technical issues. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Thanks for joining us. We're independent snapping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current snapping up products from our online shop. <laughs> Do use the current host code, which can be found on our online shop. Um, at mitoscrafts.com or on the community tab on YouTube or our Facebook page and you'll receive a handmade card from us the following month or a free gift or even loads of tutorials uh, if your order qualifies. So say hello as soon as you pop in, um, you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream or if you're watching the replay, uh, do pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw on our next live stream. If you are watching during the live, um, it's worth to go back and add a, another comment. So then if you don't win, you'll get a second chance to win the creation that we we do on the evening. Uh, so let's say hello to those who um, come in so far. You all right? Yeah, you do that. I had to okay. got the other things set up. Okay, so, that's fine. Um, so that's, uh, hi Angelina, uh, Sandra, uh, mom, <laughs> and Betty, Mandy, hello, um, who else, Judy, hello, and Marion, Jana, Deb, Christine, <laughs> Steph, and Maureen, Denise, and Carrie, thank you so much for joining us. So on our last uh, live, I created a two-for-one gift card holder. So this one was the prototype uh, and the other one was um, won by, was it Mandy? Yes, I yes, think it, it was. Yes, it was Mandy, yes. So uh, we're gonna do the random draw for this one now. And this one uses the butterfly as a latch. If I can open it. And then um, it opens up. So if you haven't seen the video for that one, uh, check our channel. Okay, so oh. we're going to pick a winner for this one right now. So, the winner for this particular card is going to be... Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Lisa. Lisa McCusker, I think. So, excellent. Lisa, please message us here over at... Email address is popping up across the screen right now. So, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Um, with your address details and that you're happy to receive the card and we will pop that in the post to you as soon as possible. So excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack on with tonight's demonstration and um, we'll, yes, see, what we come up we'll see what we come up with. We, we seem to have the technology gremlins this evening so this could be um, this could be interesting. So, um, so yeah, good. All right, so let's have some light. Let there be light. He says, there we go. Ta -da! And Jay's doing it tonight. <laughs> yes. Um, so every night uh, or every live we do um, get the viewers to have a guess at how many times <laughs> we ask each other for a favor. And thank you so much, Mandy, for um, counting. Uh, I know the others count with you, Betty and Steph as well. So this evening, put your guesses in because I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> but we are, um, we'll be using the Friends Are Like Seashells bundle. So that comes with the Seaside, all the S's, Seaside Seashells dies. Oh, say it. Please say it, Jay. What? She sells seashells on the seashore. She, she sells seashells on the seashore. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not... She sells seashells on the seashore. She, she sells she, she... Oh, no, I can't. Okay, anyway. That's not funny. <laughs> yes, this die, I've already got it out. But um, that comes out as a full die. So this is new to us. It is from the mini catalog. And the main reason why we got it is because we are part of the global project, uh, no, global creative project, which is a monthly tutorial, PDF and video tutorial bundle. And that's with 11 other demonstrators around the world. And uh, the tutorial is available for purchase monthly, or you can subscribe for six months and you only pay for five months. So it'll start in March and the first 
bundle that we're showcasing is the sand and sea suite so we got this one and um it's all ready and yes uh so do check our website as well if you want to see more information or email us but the subscription for march to august is up already so you can start subscribing so as you can see there are six dies um i've only just started doing this but whenever i ha i haven't told barry but i i just draw the pencil marks on there to, to know most of the time the, I've done that a few times yeah um, most of the time I kind of like just leave it but when it's quite full I just draw the um, pencil mark just to kind of like know randomly where they go uh, and the other ones match the stamps as well so that one that one is it no that one <laughs> and those uh, shells in inside that big die matches those ones so um we'll see what i get on how i get on with that and there is this seashells 3d embossing folder from the suite as well which i really love because um again it it matches the the dies so you can uh die cut and emboss so that's probably what i'll be doing this evening um the colors in the suite are or in the yeah in the sweet seaside spray sahara sand so saffron melon mambo and flirty flamingo i don't know if i'm going to be using those but it's always because this is kind of like really my second time playing with it so i'm gonna be just randomly stamping random stuff so we'll see i do in the tutorial i did use just like a couple of the shells so I'll probably use a different shell this time. So this one is massive, huge. So I'll probably use that. But what I wanna do first is bring the Stamparatos or if you do have um, a huge acrylic block would work as well. Because if you do have the bundle, I wanted to show How's this gonna work? Okay, I have like stuff at on top, stuff on the side, so I'm just like it's it's fine because um I can't move it because it's the camera. <laughs> that wasn't the help. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and die cut the die, and what you could do is if you. I'll, if you place that on your stamparatus <laughs> stamparatus <laughs> and then pop in your stamps in the cor corresponding areas and then pick it up and then you can stamp it afterwards Maybe I should have die cut it in normal white. This is like pearlescent. The sweet does come with a pearl. I can't put my head around it. I think that's fine, but I can't. The, the light is on the way, but align it better than me. <laughs> what else is there? Ooh, clams. Mm. <laughs> so some of these haven't been christened. Or most of them actually because you have the two-step stamping with the filler there as well or any if Barry is saying it any yes and is that the small one that's a small one right sticky gonna pop that on oh no I'm, I'm doing this so well <laughs> and I haven't put the foam mat on right I put that 
aside. I'm gonna put prop the foam up because it's photopolymer. You do need the height. Be careful of the magnets. Slide it in. There we go. Slide it in. Oh, is it food time? So I'm just gonna pick that up. And I'm actually gonna keep this as my own, um, just in the stamp set. So I'm, I'm gonna get another piece of card. So normal white. I'm just gonna use a big one. Oh. So this is how you can stamp it all in one go and it'll fit into the die. And I do have, I'm just gonna use Memento for the initial one and let that dry because you can, you can still watercolor with Memento as long as you wait for it to dry. I don't know if um, many of you know that, but you can use stays on as well for watercoloring, but be careful with your photopolymer stamps. So I'm just rubbing it because most of it are new stamps, so hopefully it would still um, stamp the correct um, areas because sometimes photopolymer, when it's new, it does tend to have kind of like a coating that um, separates the ink. <gasps> look, look at that. Okay, that needs a bit, but that's fine. So amazing um, detailed shells on there. So that's one done. If you have, markers as well you can instead of doing it the same color you can do different color ones but i do not have the markers to hand so i'll, I'll just do random <laughs> random colors multicolored shells just to show you <laughs> i've got another and then we'll um we'll see what we can do with these So, who shall we have? I w before before I um, went live, I was googling um, vibrant sh um, under the sea colors, and I was like, okay, <laughs> and it came with like the um, <laughs> with the cartoon. <laughs> and I was like, maybe I should have searched better. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do flirt of flamingo. And because Melon Mambo is darker, I'm just gonna do random. <laughs> uh, I need some more on there. Shall I do seashell? No, I'll just do flirty. Flirty flamingo. <laughs> of course, you can do the dobbers as well. I do wanna hit some of those there. Oh, and if you have, if you have, um, what was I thinking? Barry was stood up and I, that I lost my train, train of thought. What are you <laughs> right. I'm just um, having a little look, see if I can come up with anything at all. Move the colored shells. Oops. <laughs> I was so excited. Yeah, that. Will, will that come back though? Because I've moved it. It's always that one. Ah, oh, see? Now they're like swaying under the sea. <laughs> right. It's a choppy day, isn't it's it? A, it's a choppy day. It's a bit like my windy tree <laughs> last year. Right, I'm just gonna clean that before I forget. But yes, yeah, so Stamparatos is great. Uh, of course, for stamping. Oh, I didn't demonstrate it as um, <laughs> as great as I should have. 
but it is uh, if you don't move the paper you can restamp in place so let's have a look see so the sentiments are quite oh I need blocks uh, please one I have that one um, and I found out I was like what is that and I had to search it it apparently it's called sun dollar and I was like ooh is that what they use under the sea to buy stuff no I'm kidding <laughs> right so we're gonna color this in watercolor so hopefully that's um that's dried now thanks and the sentiment i'll just have a look later because we do have the water painters so pack of three different thickness that one's the broad tip medium tip and then the fine tip What color shall I use? Ooh. I'll go with seaside spray and maybe some Sahara sand. Oh, maybe seaside spray. So if you have the new tray, it is hard to press. So you can use a block as your palette. And just add the color there. And don't put your fingers in it. Hi Cheryl, everyone's on the one. <laughs> I was like, just bring everything, and Barry didn't help me at all. He wants me to have high. <laughs> I didn't help you at all. You didn't ask for anything, did you? I said, the blocks. I said, can you bring me the ink pads? This is before the live. Oh yeah, that, that hasn't cancelled. I was, I was just looking for it. No, I've already done it because I was just like, oh, cheeky. You, you want to do it while someone. <laughs> You can see I've been playing with it. I haven't cleaned it properly. So just make sure that it's nice and clean and add some water. So it's better to add more, but because this, this is only thin paper, you don't want to be adding too much. You, we do have the, what's it called? Fluid 100 watercolor paper um, or the thick basic white as well. So let's see if this, yeah, that's fine. Um, I do want darker than that, so I'm going to add a bit more. And then I'm just going to add around the actual outline. You don't have to do much. You don't even have to color it, but I'm, I'm, I just want, want to. <laughs> So who's got this already and have you made a lot of cards with it? Yeah, what have you made with it? Yes, uh, share on our Crafty Stampers Facebook group. See, I'm coloring it in now. I said, I'm not going to do much. Okay, so that's the blue. I'll do another blue here. Seaside spray. It's quite, it's not very bright, is it? So for this one, I might do Sahara sand or where is my box? Oh, here. Pretty peacock, maybe. I, I have other bright colors. Ooh, Bermuda Bay. I we do like a Bermuda. Bermuda Bay. So that one is the old one. So you can press it and get colors, but I'll probably just do it on the right hand side there. You don't need much. Oh, what was I sitting on? <laughs> Right, Bermuda Bay. This one will be cool. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Bermuda Bay is actually on our logo. Well, I think it looks Bermuda Bay-ish. I'm sure that the hex code was the same. But they tend to change. So just the outline in between and then um, we can do some more with the other colors. Add more ink for a uh, more intense color. Ooh. <laughs> it reminds me a bit of the um, snails with the spirals. Just a deja vu of coloring those nails, which we're actually gonna have a, an online class at the end of March for the snails. So if you're loving the snails, details are on our website and how to book. What's which the is class we're having before that? Oh, oh, the one before we're gonna be making a double slider card. And a couple of other cards um, and we'll, we'll be using what are we using um, you are amazing because it's it's just it's got sentiments big sentiments and it's got um, background stamp like the the stars but the main focus is on the double slider card so if you want to have a go at double slider cards check that Class. What am I gonna add? Now? I'll just add. Yeah, I, I prefer the Bermuda. It's just. It just pops a bit more, doesn't it? Right. I don't want it. And then just add whilst it's wet. Yeah. I'm just looking I'm gonna add more I want it all just the highlights but because um, the outline was more concentrated it's only adding another layer so you can still see the previous the previous um, layer that I've added. That's fine. Stop it now. Stop it now. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we're gonna do something with those. So I'm gonna die cut it. But for this one, I'm actually I'm gonna die cut it and then emboss it. Um, where is the lid? The seashells are pretty, but I'm not sure if I would get a lot of use from it. Oh, why not? We, we, yeah, we, it wasn't on our list, to be honest, but I quite like that the, the big die uh, fits in. So I'm gonna, with the hole, so if you can create loads of cards just with one stamping or uh, with one embossing. There we go. So I'm just gonna cut that in. Is that, is that correct? Look, I didn't align it properly. I think my alignment must, must have been quite funky. It moved when I did it. Oh well, it's fine. Sorry for the wobbles.
You okay? Mm -hmm. You're hovering. No, I just want the bar as well. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. Actually, I need it first because I'm gonna do the other one. And then you can have it afterwards. Thanks. Right, I'll do this one. move on my stamparatus? I'm sure it must have. Hi Heather, hi Jeanette, hi Gian. Now you can have it. Oh no, I'm gonna emboss one of them just to show. So the embossing is 3D embossing folder, so you'll need your one and your four. And again, with the stamping up logo on top, that will be the top. And I'm just gonna place that on. There. And it's on the floor. these colors together actually so it enhances the detail on the because it is embossed as well and you can highlight it by running another ink pad or a sponge on top And of course you can cut this out to then have individual shells. So I'm gonna do just one. So where's the other one? There we go. So the gray, um, the seaside spray and Bermuda Bay. I'll keep it simple because yeah you can have it on its own and just have it with a colored card or embossed background uh, different embossing but I'm gonna do that in where's the snips So just cut into it yeah do align you can align your <laughs> stamps better than I have because that doesn't look great And you can cut around it, but I'm just gonna keep it where it wants. Where's the Dumbo and bone folder, please? I knew I forgot something. I was like, Two. I must get that. But Barry was rushing me. He was like, it's seven o'clock, Jay. It's seven o'clock. It's <laughs> like, I am joking. Yeah, yeah. Like the main thing that we need is normally bone folder and glue. <laughs> and 
we still forget? In there, change it. I'm just going to use all of them. In one. I quite like the white. Um, white on white. But if you don't, you can of course add seaside spray on there as well. I'm going to do this. Okay. Cut that in. Is that what are you? Once <laughs> he uh, he only asked for it together and Barry, I don't know what that's about. Barry, do you know? Do I only still have one? <laughs> Try. I'll try. Okay, right. I'm gonna add these. Oh, okay. I think it's the uh, glue and the bone fold. <gasps> There's an argument as to is that. Two oh, I see. Three. Because it is in one. I, I get it. That's that's. Thanks, how you, that, Connie. That classes as one. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, Connie. <laughs> that yeah. That this holder is from Connie. Thank you so much. Right. So we're gonna add. What's Minnie doing? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we have glue. Where's the thing? No, I've got it. It's just, I, I mentioned about, I do like white on white, but you can color that. And seaside, ooh, what green, what green would work? I do have... Just change on that's slightly not as bright as the Bermuda. So just jade. And you might want uh, the broader water painter, which I've misplaced already. So I'm just going to use the Thin one. <laughs> there you go. And if you are using like a thin, just use the side of it and just randomly color your die cut. You can make it darker, of course, by adding more color. But did you want to just ask for a color um, recommendation as well? No. Why? Okay, someone just said soft sea foam. So. Uh, oh, I see. Yes, I did kind of like Donna, think. Donna grow. Think. Uh, oh, what what color would look on it? Okay. That's... Um. So just to add interest on those, and you can splatter, or just yeah, I'm just or smoosh it. But I think this way or 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 dober, but I think this way is quick. Um, it's random if you want to and it adds texture that's done and one more have you got this um, Pacific one yeah it's in it's in my it's in my box of oh what color shall I use <laughs> I don't know. Let's so just of, bring the whole cast. Instead of asking me for colours, he's just grabbed all the colours <laughs> and just put them by the side of him. Well, I don't want to lose. <laughs> Who wants to lose? No one. Right? That's why I can never find anything. Yay. Whatever. <laughs> right. So we're going to add those on and we are going to add the background with 
multicol uh, multicolor, multi-purpose liquid glue. So you don't need to add loads of glue, just dots here and there. And if you have some random colors on there, that's fine. It's part of the card. Or you can, it's an opportunity for embellishment. <laughs> we were told. Okay, that one. More towards the left. Or you can, yeah. And just reconstruct it and add it how you want it on there. And then the other one, I'm gonna have, I did have it this way, what didn't I? I quite like that, there we go. And then that can just go in there. And then for this one, mini dimensionals. Oh, not that one. Or the big one, if you have it to hand, because it is a huge die. On our um, project for the tutorial bundle, I did do some ink blended background. So uh, I was trying to get away from, I was like, oh, shall I do some more ink blended? That's what I did for the tutorial. So I thought, no, I'll maybe um, stay, stay away from it for now and maybe do some more ink blending, but you can create gorgeous um, background with ink blending. There you go, so it, that is there. We're gonna add sentiment. Well, I, I do have, I, I can do another card. If, if everyone doesn't mind me just going, oh, what shall I do next? I don't know, no idea. Uh, friends are like seashells, you collect them along the way. Oh, that's quite nice, it's quite big as well. So I just want something small. Um, what's the other one? Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. Oh, that's sweet. We'll go with that. And that will, I do like my, um, the layout of having a concentrated area and then with just a sentiment on there. So we'll go with that. Block is here. And white. Did you take the trimmer? You did, didn't you? The trimmer? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> no, I stole it. That doesn't count. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> okay, so colors I've got Seaside Spray, Bermuda Bay, and Memento. So I'm just gonna add Memento. there it might be nice um, white emboss on black as well so then it pops a bit more I'm just gonna I stamped it upside down because I've already got the straight edge there and I can just Cut it off on here. Steph Gibson must have said, I think cards turn out better without planning, in my opinion. Oh, thank you. It's just a little bit crazy. Uh, we'll do fishtail because it's under the sea. Uh, It's just, yeah, my brain works overtime thinking, what next, what next? 
I'm using a lot of brain power and I've, I haven't done that for, it, for ages <laughs> this year. So if you're um, half on and half off, so I will add dimensional where it's not. <gasps> Another shell. Oh, I'm going to hide that one because I don't particularly like that. There you go. Two clams side by side. Okay, I'll do that later. So fish tail, how far? There. And there. Bars is taking the glue. You all saw that, right? So I'll glue this in a second. Okay, sorry, you won't have that. And another thing I have that I bought is, you, you can't see it that well but this is pool party sheer ribbon i did bring the braided linen trim and the mossy meadow linen trim but i think this one just adds a nice soft texture on there so i'm gonna add that underneath in a second so that has got a bit of white so i'm just gonna cut that up and it looks like that shell is floating so I do want to ground it and hide it this is normally me when when I when I craft I don't know if you're the same I'll add some more oh no I've stuck it down already so sometimes I only add glue <laughs> in tiny bits of area so i can actually insert things underneath if i change my mind um so that one i'm gonna have there and then add that one like so Okay, with Terran Tech, which have gone missing. Did I move it? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I thought I had it. Oh no, it, I did have it. It was hiding under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Sand, Sand and sea. So it's, it's this one is nice. I we I haven't used this much, but you can still see because it's so light. You can still see the design underneath, which I quite like. So I'm just gonna add. That's too much, and I don't mind it um, going over that shell. Then if it is a uh, more um, what do you call it? Not see-through. What's the opposite of that? Barry. Sorry. <laughs> Not see-through. I would um, push it underneath that shell. So that is there. Let's make sure it's actually stuck down. And then glue there. that and then finally in the suite we have we've been playing with this so much opal rounds which is quite cool so big one why are you not sticking glue that would probably be better but a dollop of liquid glue will tr should try nicely and then just do a couple on there oh at least i made a card <laughs> was that a bit of a <laughs> that was hard work right bit of a fast <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I confused you, but yeah, that that's one card just in black. Added hints of color in the in the shells. 
um, I can create another card unless Barry wanted to jump on. Well, I've just done that one off camera. Ooh, that's pretty. And ink blending. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to see that one? <laughs> it's up to you. I haven't finished it yet, but do you, I, this is what I've just made off camera. Do you want to see how I made it? Whilst we're waiting, I'll, I, I will cl clear out. What do you want Jay's creation? I was just going to make something with these. Um, but seeing as I've already made one, I'm going to take all of the products out and then Barry will have to ask me, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, don't want to ask for glue nuts. <laughs> yes, Maureen. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Okay, I'm right. out of the way. Let's have a go. I wasn't planning on doing this, so um, I'm going to definitely lose tonight because I haven't got anything I want. <laughs> so, just sit down. I'll, I'll get it. You you have one minute grace. If you ask for something, it won't count. <laughs> <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> Where's the embossing folder and everything like that? <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and lose tonight, shall we? Um, okay, so I need my trimmer. So yeah, I've just been having a play, a play off camera, um, and I just wanted to, well, get, have a little, yeah, have a little go. So this is a very simple card. Well, I say simple. Um, there's a few things which are needed. I will need my bit of um. I, I did pre-cut a bit of paper, blue paper down there, Jake. Could you just pass yeah. that over to me? That one doesn't count. He gave me a minute, a uh, minute's grace. I think that was five minutes. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to cut my my layer down, my whisper white down to my normal layer, which is t or ten centimeters by fourteen point one, which I've already done that. Good. So that's that one. And I'm going to do some embossing, and I'm going to run this through the embossing folder. The one thing I haven't actually planned for, which I didn't actually finish, Jay, is the, a, a, a die for the um, sentiment, for a sentiment to go on here. Are we um, having these? Yes. So I'm going to take my, my stuff here. Let's just move some bits out of the way so I can... There go. And I'm just going to run this through the embossing machine. So I'm going to take the oh, Jay's stuff in the way. Oh dear, oh dear. Getting in the right pickle. <laughs> and I'm just going to run this through the machine and emboss this. So you've already seen Jay emboss this once. So I'm just going to go ahead and just emboss this one more time and it's a beautiful embossing folder it's really really nice so this um, oh, that's Jay tripping over the box time is up counting resumes yeah. I did ask for a punch though before the time is up but that hasn't come yet so <laughs> I'm looking So, and that's that. It's just an amazing 3D. I think the 3D embossing folders are absolutely stunning. They are really, really nice. Um, so that's that one. What we're going to do is I have got my brushes and I'm going to do a little bit of blending with this. And it's going to look a complete and utter mess. But we're going to work with it. Because hopefully it will all come good in the end. So I'm using... Pear Pizzazz, so I'm using Subtles, and I've got Blushing Bride. And I'm going to take my green blending brush, and I'm just going to go over, and I'm going to colour colour the seaweed. So like that, so using the blending brushes and we can go in and 
and just do this. And we'll just come down there and just highlight this one. So like I say, it's gonna look it's gonna look horrid to start off with. And we're just gonna hope, but we just want to highlight and emphasize these these um the, this detail and you can see where it catches it's very it's very light isn't it it's very bleached out on this one i'm just going to turn down the light fraction because it's very there we go i think that's a bit better there Oops, it's a bit too dark now i can't see what i'm doing but you can see what i'm doing <laughs> no, i need to light up a little bit more So, and where else have we got some greenery? I don't think we have got any more greenery on this. So that's all around here. Then I'm gonna take my Blushing Bride, pick up my ink, and we're gonna do the same with the shell. So I'm just gonna then kiss this over the top. And again, you can use this technique on um, on any of your embossing folder to highlight some colour. So, and we'll just do this final one. We've got and a little one over here as well. We'll just give that a little bit of colour. Oh, there's a little one there as well. They're all all the shells are popping up now. Out of nowhere. Yeah, we'll just continue just colouring this large one. Right, and we're going to get a little bit of ink blending in with the green and the and the blush and bride, but that's good. And it just really, really emphasises and picks up that detail on all of that stuff. So a little bit more. Good. Lovely. So that's that. Looks horrid at the moment. But I'm going to come back to that one in a second. I'm just going to let that dry off. I've got my card base here. And I'm just going to cut this down to size. So we will cut ours down to 14.6 by 10.5. And, and I'm using Balmy Blue here. So that's the colour I've picked. We will fold and burnish. And I'm going to use Pacific Point. And I'm going to create a an ombre effect on the card base. And I'm going to go directly to the card base. So I fold it over. And we're just going to go on. And I'm going to create this nice deep blue ombre effect coming up into the coming up into the balmy blue cardstock so that's a nice nice little technique for you rather than having to use two colors just use your colored cardstock and blend it out i just love these blending brushes i'm so happy we've got them yeah i just said um you got not as you before and it wasn't a yeah yeah i did i brought i brought before we got them everyone was saying buy makeup brushes makeup brushes and so i did i went for the cheaper option and i i brought makeup brushes and jay did not like them at all and to be honest with you i didn't really use them that much myself to enjoy them or to get used to them but We've got these, and Jay's Jay's loving them straight away. Um, I think the ink goes on them nicely. You get a good coverage. You get a nice smooth co coating, um, and they are they are different. So again, don't don't 
don't go for the cheaper options just go straight in and or don't go for the alternatives sometimes you just need to just bite the bullet and just go for the proper things and you will <laughs> you'll get the quality which you're after you'll get what you want so I'm just going to I'm just intensifying this bottom part down here because I want this to be quite a deep blue now so yeah keeping it in theme with the the beach if anything I could probably go with Knight of Navy on that but that means I've got to ask Jay to get up and go and get that I will <laughs> and these are just blending lovely So I'm going to keep it with just the Pacific point because you want to, you just want to um, use as little products as you possibly can sometimes. Otherwise, you think so. Oh, I've got to buy everything under the sun. Um, so or we're going to, or under the sea, as Jay's just said. So there we go. There is my nice ombre effect using the Pacific point and balmy blue cardstock. That will, looking at obviously my alternative, that will, as this dries, this will then tone itself out a little bit. It will, that, 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 this little um, blemishes which is on here should start to tone down a fraction, I believe, um, as, it, as it starts to dry. So what I want to do now is I'm going to pop this to, oh, I'm going to do one thing. I've got my classic label punch and I'm just going to pop this in and I'm just going to take a notch out there. That will make sense in a second. You can use that or these. Um, well I was going to use this one. Oh, I've got here the flowers for every season, baker's twine. Um, so one which isn't part of this suite. Now this suite doesn't actually come with ribbon I don't believe, does it? It's... I don't think no, I don't think it does come with ribbon. So what I'm going to do now is, listen, this is where I don't know where anything is on the table. Um, I now need some paper for, some wisp of white paper for stamping a sentiment, which I've yes. got here. Yeah, this should be some so there's some scraps here. And what sentiment do I want to choose? I want to pick one which is the label Jay has given me, the punch Jay has given me is label me fancy. So I now need to make sure I find a so fancy. <laughs> sentiment which fits in that. Which I don't think any of them do. Nope. <laughs> this should be one. I think the one oh. that I got, that I do. What one do we have on here? So, um, what do you use? Friends are like seashells, you collect them along the way. Is that what you used? No, the happy birthday, that's on the block already on oh, the okay. right hand side. Oh, okay. Um, block on the right hand side, there we go. No, that one doesn't fit in either. Have we got another label punch, Joe, which actually fits something in this? If you give me it. That's it. Jay's just going to go and have a little look for um, a, a suitable punch for me because the one he gave me doesn't fit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not it's properly. Nose that does. It, it fits, but overhangs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want an overhang and I want a nice fitting thingy. Okay, so we're going to bring this one back in and I'm going to try and. No, I think that one will be fine. And they're going to try and find a die somewhere, the big die, to cut out the uh, actual the actual thing. And even Jay doesn't even know where it is. It's or is a, it because I, a, I... I don't know. You took it, didn't you? Is that over on the machine over there where Mini is? Yeah, so Barry left it in the machine, so that's one. Or is that two? I don't know. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is we're going to run this through the machine. So I'm just going to clear myself a little bit of room. So 
again, I think I've realised why I prefer crafting before Jay rather than after Jay. Because I never know where anything is. And everything's all out of reach of me. So I have got that. I have got that. Um, I don't know where the other cutting plate is. It's on the floor. So I'm looking for the, the clear top plates. On the table, on the <laughs> chair. No idea. Can't die cut anything out because I don't know where anything is. It's on the chair. Okay. Jay's buried it. And we're just going to run this through. So now I do run the risk, potentially, of now pushing the embossing back into the into the paper. But we will see what happens. On my prototype, it didn't. But you watch on this one, because I'm using a different machine now, this will probably... Yeah, the cut and emboss is a bit more pressure, isn't it? Yeah. But it, by the looks of it, it still worked. Yeah, that looks fine. So it hasn't lost the embossing. And what I can do now is I can now take all of these out. And I've now got myself. So what looks like a little bit of a mess is now a controlled mess because we've cut out all of those little bits around it. Okay. And that's that one right there. So let's just pop that in there. Jay, would you gonna do a favour? Um, I didn't because I didn't plan on doing that. I'm gonna put dinner in the oven. <laughs> it takes an hour to cook. Um, there you go. So that doesn't count as anything. Being got me asking him to go and put dinner in the oven, by the way. So there we go. <laughs> That's gonna go on like that. And I'm just gonna pop this straight down onto this card. So I'm just gonna pop some. There, a little bit over here. So this is my take on a on a case from the from the catalog, but obviously I have changed it up, and we're just going to go like that, and that's just going to go on there. So the idea is that we've got a nice sea, nice tropical blue sea behind our seashells, and that's just straight down like so okay so that's that let's grab my sentiments and I like that one there friends like seashells you collect them along the way I really like that one and that's gonna go on and that will fit quite nicely into that one right there so let's take that, take some memento. And just, what way is this going to punch in? Yeah, that will work. So it is a little bit large for this one, but that's fine. We can work with that one. It gives me gives me some room to put some put some embellishments. I can put some opal rounds on here, maybe we'll see. And I want that to go like this here. But why did I put this little hole in this side over here? I popped that little hole over here because I want to pop some ribbon in. Or twine, but I don't. I've got. I can't wrap it around because I'm doing it straight onto the card base. So the trick is, put up a hole, and we want to wrap it around twice. 
This is Jay's trick actually, which I saw. Saw him do. I know for I can finally I get a chance to have a play at doing that. And then we wrap that round like that. So I just need to now just manipulate these. I'm getting caught up in the seashells. And just need to pull that through a little bit more. Why is that not working properly? Something's gone wrong. Let's I want to go around once. And round once, and we want to go round twice. That's the one. And then, that's it. I was getting myself. And I just want to just tidy those ribbons up a little bit so that they are on the front. I can then spray them out a little bit. That's good. And then we come round. So we're going to, in a way, it's three times that's going to come in. Round underneath there. do it this side here then because that's where that wants to right. see this is why even with twine I'm getting myself right in a bit of a pickle see why is it when you do it off camera it works perfectly fine I had no problems when I did this did this early in a moment just a moment ago on camera I'm all fingers and thumbs so yeah that's fine. We've gone round three times. That's fine. I've got a double. I've got a triple, triple white, triple loop, and we're going to tie knots over this side here. And I just want that so that just goes round, and we'll just cut that off and cut that one off there, and that's how we can attach some of those. We will take this, so we're nearly finished now. So we're going to be picking a winner very soon for Jay's card. Nobody would want to win my card, but somebody will next week no, on on Sunday. And pop some dimensionals on here. Me and Jay have got two very different techniques and working with each other, so you can see. So get your names in because Jay's just going to finalise taking those names and then we're going to pick a winner to receive his card. So that's going to go over the top like that. So that ribbon has just gone right underneath that one. I'm just going to just shorten that. Shorten that. And we'll just finish off by putting some opal rounds on here. Um... Take your pick tool. Take your pick tool. Take your pick. Oh, there it is. Um, it's it's buried. I hid it. And let's just take a couple of these opal rounds because these coordinate with this, with this sweet. Oh, if I can get it off. And we'll just pop a couple. I'm going to pop one down there on the bottom of the sentiment at least. Just to... We're going to have one, one up there. And we have one floating around. 
up there like that. This one may move down to here. Um, we'll see. Actually, I will move it down because I know for postage wise, that will have to move. So it keeps it all within within that. And there we go. There is my friends are like seashells, seashells, seashells cards card. So that's good. What do you think? Do you like? So Jay's just finishing up names. Yeah. The, and new. no more new names. Yeah. And we're going to pick a winner right now. And Jay's just going to show you some other stuff. Do you want to get the um, slider card, Jay, from um, Next Class? And show that. So we're going to, um, I just we just wanted to show you what card we're going to be doing. So if you want to book in for one of our classes, the next class which we've got coming up is for these, which is the magic slider, not the magic slider cards, the double slider. I want to do a magic slider card, which is this one right here. And you just go, boop. boop. With matching sound effects. With matching sound effects. Sound effects aren't included, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Pop. Okay, so we're going to do. You'll get. We'll be making one of. E we'll be making one of either the um, seaside spray or the purple posy. So if you put it in the UK and you want the kit, it will be one or the other. But you can join us overseas, and we'll be doing that and two simple cards as well. Um, so if anyone wants to book in for that one, please head over to our website, matusucrafts.com. Um, details are popping up on the screen right now. Um, and you can find the book a class tab on there as well. So excellent. We will now do a random draw. So I'm just going to get that one set up. And Jay's just going to talk to you. He's going to show you some other cards, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> he's, he's walked away, so I don't know what he's going to show you. He's probably forgotten something. He's going to bring it back. Uh, so on here? Yeah. So that's the card you'll win this evening. But I just finished up that one so um, with an embossed panel underneath in basic gray so it does need uh, finishing um, touches with a sentiment but I did the uppy topper underneath by folding that um, so I did that with the fine art plural before but uh, I really like nice. I really like that effect and I did think of doing some some like fossil type um, colors as well or um, kind of like highlighting the embossing folder so that could be another project in the future but Good. yes so these are the so cards. we're going to be giving away this card first yeah. and we'll be giving away this card um, next week so let's just bring you over so you can now see our screen and the winner of this card is going to be of this one. Oh, look, I'm pointing at the thing. You can't see it. <laughs> of Jay's card. The first card we made is Janice Adams. Janice. Well done, Janice. That card is working its way to you. So if you would like to email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Um, with your address details and you're happy to receive it, we will pop that one in the post to you as soon as possible. So excellent. We are back. Let's just do that. And turn some lights down. We still need to work out our lovely, um, our lovely lighting setup. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. Congratulations again, Janice. Email us to uh, get this card if you would love it. Do pop in again and add another comment on the section below of the video um, to get a chance to win Barry's card. Good. Excellent. Yeah. So we will be back on Sunday, Sunday night. Where's the weeks going? Where are they going? Sunday night, 7 p.m., same time, same place. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.